Ben had to say I had a long road back to you, fear of you. Just the number one bullshit. Absolutely, man. I'm about to bring coast to coast after him. I'm gonna make him go face down, ass up once again. It's the air of the dog, baby. What is up, everybody? It is the heirs of the dog once again. Johnny O'Neill and Dylan Newbro on the microphone. What's up, dude? Mm, what up? Uh, what episode is this, bro? It's got to be about 25, 6? 26. Okay. We're here. Yeah. We're, we're, oh, 20, I'm not going to say that. Um, but what are we drinking today, bro? <laughs> I just from Hams? Hams, dude. Yeah, this is not sponsored by Hams, but... I bought a fucking, like, 12-pack of Hams probably about a couple months ago, probably. Oh, this is a... Before I left for Iowa this last time, honestly. Has a good aluminum taste. That's what it said. Yeah. What was, the can- what was it on the can? It's Amer- I was doing George Bush. It's like one of the cheapest beers ever, and it tastes not bad. Oh, yeah. George Bush needs to read read the can, I think. George, you want to you wanna read an ad for us real quick? Yeah, sure. Um... Here, let me see. Hand that over. You got it? You need your glasses? Do you yeah, glasses? do you have my glasses? <clears throat> yeah, you can try Thank mine you. if you want. Hams. America's classic premium beer. Born born in the land. Born in the land of the sky blue waters. Born in the land of the sky blue. I'm not going to try it. Anyway, here you go. That was a little blue Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not going to let you drink it, George. Obviously, he's, he's, uh, he's doing a painting right now. Ooh. Yeah, he's oh, here. Painting, doing a painting. I don't know what. Do, what do you say? Painting. What do you call that? What you... Painting. I'm just painting. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just painting. I guess. Oh fuck. Whatever. But anyway, thanks, George. I just we wanted to read that can. He's got a good, uh, good voice for you know. For reading. Reading cans. So that's what we're drinking today. Hams. Um. Anyway, yeah. We just we want to thank our actual real sponsors. Um, New View Pharma, man. Um. Uh, we fucking love you. One every week, every week, man. We got a fucking. We have a chance to appreciate the the good, good medicine that we get to consume, and uh, we just we thank you. The 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 high quality cannabis and extracts at uh, New View and Rocky Mountain Extracts are bar none. Um, the best, the best Colorado. around. Yeah, yeah. Colorado has to hey, offer and beyond. <clears throat> it is why I they mean, win state awards. They do call me Buzz Lightyear, and I do go beyond. And New View is way beyond. Wow, dude. Sometimes you gotta fucking like bring that. it interstellar. You know what I'm saying? That's a great movie. You gotta appreciate people when when they're beyond, um, you know, this earth when it comes to quality. And New View is that, dude. I think wow. I just changed your perspective on it completely. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Let's go. We're going to go get Leave. some right now. Fuck it. We're stopping recording. Get out. Yep. Come back, though. Yeah, we're going to come back. And we're back. We just cut recording. You can believe us or you cannot. We just got back with some weed. And uh, because we appreciate New View so much, we went and got some more weed. Um, we got some good wax. Um, all the goodness. What are your What are your uh, What are your uh, two two top uh, extracts right now? Because you and I are dabbers. We like the extracts. Man, <clears throat> give me <clears throat> give me a good. Because I always I'll always go. We're not Steve a good indica. indica sure, hundred percent. You know, and let me let me preface this. A morning night. Sure, I'm gonna preface this. And and we've talked about our fucking. OG, because like we've been new viewers, you know what I mean? For a minute, exclusively for a while, right? Like we walk in there and they're like, "Hey, what's new?" You know what I mean? Because we want to know the new, new at New View, because that's what we talk about on the Airs of the Dog. Yeah, I like that. The new, new. Yeah. So what? What are your two, two new, new, new view go tos? Whoa, that was great. Did you like that? I think it was too yeah. much. Too much. Sorry. I tried too hard. You don't want to be a try hard. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was forced. <laughs> <laughs> Hella forced. Then two <laughs> I don't even I can't even repeat it again. Repeat it. Can they even repeat it like my computer? <laughs> oh computer. Jesus. Get back to the fucking point, Johnny. What new were view. We, yeah, what are your two <laughs> what are you two new new? <laughs> anyway, fuck it. 
You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're just crazy names that I never remember. Really? You don't know them off the top of your head? I'll no. give you two that I really like. Sour Joker. Okay. And I really fucking like the... Uh, oh, what are the, the blends? The... Uh, they're all Egyptian names. I can't fucking remember it off the top of my head, but it's a blend, and it's all Indicas. It's an Indica blend. They have their New View blend. Is it the New New View blend? Yeah, it's Sean. just kind of whatever. It's like an a la carte. Okay. Whatever yeah. Is there. Then maybe that's what I'm thinking of. They because it, and it's awesome it's that they do that to you know get you. Pretty Fuck bad. yeah! That's what's so cool about it because it's such high quality flour, and that's what they're getting it from is Brandon's grow. Right. Brandon Kelly's grow is top of the line, winning fucking belts, baby. He can taste that double chain, baby. Mm. Fucking Brandon Kelly. He did you see the? Uh, he's gonna win the grow for this year too, like for yield. Biggest. Yeah, that's most. what it's all about. Yeah, he's, we're trying to grow the most good weed. It's not about, oh yeah, you fucking baby two plants, great. It you know what be, I'm saying? It can be quality, quantity of quality. Sure, too. but I want to pass a few joints around. You know what I'm saying? No, that's weed what I'm is, saying. Weed is about smoking with the people. That's what I love about Brandon's mentality. Right. And that's what's so cool about his belts, man. And 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 we fucking appreciate the fact that you know, it's such good quality at high quantities you know what i'm saying that quality is, and quantity. quality and quantity it can be both shout out bk one time anyway we're we're fucking appreciating the fuck out of them today which is great so moving on we got uh, we got uh uh what's it called um rtf sports yeah fuck yeah yeah we do <laughs> <laughs> dude to to fucking think that we could be a part of such a fucking massive network of guys that are just as passionate as we are when it comes to uh, podcasting, sports, just the fucking the love of you know analytics when it comes from a from a fan perspective. Like they they are all the, all the shows are you know pretty diverse. We got a. Uh, I, I think they changed their name. I think it's the Mike and Mike Hour, which is the uh, Michael. He's the I can't even say his fucking last name, and and he hasn't said it on the live, so I don't know how to say it. M- Michael B. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to fucking say his last name. By but Buck, Buck and something. I don't know. It's fucking German, <laughs> probably. But anyway, um, yeah. There's Mike and Mike. There's To Be Blunt. I don't know if you've have you checked out some of the other shows on there. Yeah, I have. Um, I I haven't listened to um, too many of the podcasts just because I'm not much of a football fan right now. But um, I've been trying to get more into the NBA stuff because I'm love fucking playing basketball, man. And maybe just because of all the fucking shit going on with COVID, it's I don't know, kind of lost interest in the, all the politics surrounding the sport. And I really appreciate our, you know, our sport right now. And it's so cool that everybody's being going to be able to bring all their perspectives, you know, to one network. So we're hoping to get on a couple of their shows. We're going to be doing a, uh, I think it starts August 4th. It's the, uh, oh, Jesus, I can't think of the, the great debate. Mm. I talked to you about it. Remember? I do. Yeah. It's like. I think it is kind of a weird subject matter. Not weird, but sensitive. I think everybody's uh, perspective is different, but that's what's going to be cool about it. Um, it's. I think it's going to be politics and sports. So, obviously, you can fucking say you don't care or whatever, but these are still, you know what I'm saying, still people look up to these athletes and it's kind of, you know, it's sensitive for people. You know what I mean? And sure. so it's it's nice that we're going to be able to point out the reality of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love our perspective on stuff. And it's not asshole-ish. Like, it's, it, it really can come from a good place. You know what right. I mean? We're, we're just as willing to be humbled as well. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Very and that's reasonable. And that's what's so cool about it. So this is, this is going to be a healthy debate, I think. You know, everybody's not, you know, unless somebody gets super fucking defensive and pissed off, you know, well, it's just, that's <laughs> but that's, fine. that's good content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
fuck yeah, baby. That's why it's yeah, live. It's, yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so you, you act the way you act. Sure. And that's what I'm saying. Like we're we're not gonna fucking you know be an asshole. No, but no. We're gonna come from a reality you know based perspective from what we've experienced, man. And we're excited about it, man, because it's a lot of different perspectives. Is it? I, yeah, dude, it is. I mean, there's there's diehard fucking footballers that all they fucking live and breathe is NFL shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And that's like cool. You know what I'm saying? That's more. Yeah, there's more it. to life than just football. And that's what. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. And I'm not trying to jump to conclusions, but there are people like that in the world, and I'm coming to this debate understanding that. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm not going to assume that people are going to act that way, but you know what I mean? Hams. Hams. <laughs> We're getting in the weeds. I'm sorry. But this is healthy, man. It's, it it's going to be cool. I think that shit's healthy. You're going to do it, right? With me? Yeah, I'll hang out. Okay. Um, I think uh, there's a... Uh, Jesus. Sorry. That fucking truck is annoying as fuck. What do you call that thing? A backhoe? Do you? No. I don't know what the fuck you call it. To me, but it's I... a road grader. Oh, yeah. It is a grader, huh? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I didn't you. know if you would call it something else. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You I... do have a lot more expertise in the field than I do. Uh, I know the, I know my way around a skid loader. Sure. <laughs> That's pretty much it, bro. I think you're giving me too much credit. No, I didn't, not that you knew how to operate it, just that uh, you knew what it was called. Like Knowledge. Official, yeah. Like I guess Don does fucking build houses. I should know what that's called. Yeah, I guess that is a road grader. Now that you're pointing it out, I should know that. But whatever. I didn't know it's if that was It's the fucking like the noise in the background that keeps fucking it. taking me off of what we're talking about. It's kind of going with it, though. Going with the... Sure. We're flowing, bro. I'm not going to get fucking judgmental about this shit. This is uh construction happens. Yeah, construction happens. We're we're uh we're willing to move on. You know what I mean? So we got a good fucking show today, man. We got some cool shit to talk about. Entertain um, me. <laughs> what? What? What did you say? Ebidamy? Entertain me? Oh. I was like, what is that? Ebidamy. I was like, what That's the fuck word. did you say? That's why I was confused. What, what would the definition of that word be? Of ebidane? Yeah. Abed? What is the root of ebed? Um, to... <laughs> That's a made-up word. Well, the, the letter E would be like... Well, think of other words that are like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Like escape or erase. You know what I mean? You're saying it's almost Ever- like, like a negative word. Now, wait, wait, what was the fucking word now? Ebed. Because it's in bed. Eber, Eber, what did I say? Fucking no idea. <laughs> you said uh, Eberdain? Eberdain. Isn't that a last name? Yeah, Eberdain. I don't know. Fuck That's it. a last we're, name. Of we're like trying that. too hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Thank you, New fire. View. All right, Jesus. We're in the weeds now. Gonna fuck? fucking cut ourselves out with the fucking machete. Here we are. Back to the show. <laughs> Civilization. Hey, it's Jesus. all right. Back on track. There's fucking giant snakes back this there. This is why we have a fucking outline. So, here we are. <laughs> uh, GSP. Guspa. Um, but, but before that, Jesus. Rush. I'm jumping to the fucking... Jumping, jumping the rush. gun here. No. Khabib versus uh, Justin Gaethje. Just announced, huh? Just signed. How do you feel about that? that I feel happy? I feel like I'm putting money on gauging. Oh, okay. That's dude. We were just talking about Rocky. Your or, early predicaments? That's that's my that's where my heart is, man. That's where my heart is. August what? Twenty four? Um October twenty fourth. Oh, October twenty fourth. That's yeah. what it was, yep. Yep. Yeah. Which is nice. They they have a fucking solid camp you know what i'm saying for sure habib has time to fucking you know mourn the loss of his dad still fucking be fat and happy for a little bit and it's not ramadan and i'm sure that's not what he's doing you know what i'm saying and no he's definitely training <laughs> yeah he's he's building the fucking fire he's stoking that shit up you know what i'm saying yeah when, when uh i, I feel like question. i feel like habib is doing the fucking rocky three you know what i'm saying oh. going out to the fucking 
You know what Wasn't I mean? Wasn't that four? It was four. Thank you. Where Dolph. he goes? Yes. I love it. Where he fucking knocks fucking Dolph unconscious, bro. Russia. No, he loses to Dolph, doesn't he? No. Dude, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm high. I need to watch Rocky again. Dolph kills. Literally watch it all of my fucking life, and I lose fucking so many details in that movie. Remember Dolph kills Creed? Yes. And then they fight Rocky, fights him at the end of the movie? Sure. He has to win, right? No, only Ro- fought once? No, Rocky Rocky and Drago fought twice. They fought twice? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I thought he fought twice with uh, fucking um, Mr. T. No, he only fought Mr. T once. No, he got beat. He got the shit kicked out of him the first time. Clubber Lang? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, and see what's so nice. And then he went so, back and f- so trained nice. with Creed? Yep, yep, you're right. Dude. My brain's there. Okay. I know, I know. Dude, I know you're there. Thank you. Humble me, bro. Fucking tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm a huge Rocky fan, and I'm fucking... I'm not going to try to act like I fucking know every single fucking detail, but that's a huge fucking plot. <laughs> but, I didn't even re- know that I remembered all that, to be honest. Yeah, but, but I mean... It just that, came through me. Sure, it just yeah. fucking hit me out of nowhere. But that's what's so cool about those movies is like you can... Filing cabinet. You can fucking lose little details like that because you obsess with one little what's fucking cool, thing in the movie. What's cool is it's almost about real life. It 100% is. You can get lost in fights like that. Yeah. Real fights. Yeah. Yeah. Holy That's shit. That's how you know it's a good movie. Hell yeah, bro. We can appreciate Rocky. Hey, you. Um, but anyway, back on track with Khabib and Gagey, bro. I'm fucking so excited with... I was going to ask you, what uh, What do you predict? What round? What do you think? Oh, dude, I'm not going to get that end? intricate. You want to go that You, you want to go that deep? You're saying Gagey wins how? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. <clears throat> Give me a round TKO, KO. Yeah, that's... I mean... You think he submits? <laughs> no. No. I think... I think Justin has fucking fantastic takedown defense, bro. Oh, yeah. His wrestling's great. He's yeah. probably the best wrestler he's ever going to face. 100%, bro. Yeah. And, dude, he fucking... He threw around Tony Ferguson, bro. Yeah. And that's why I was like, okay. Well, he outboxed him like crazy. Oh, that... And, and he just fucking... He took him down and then it was like, okay, cool. Moving on. You know what I'm saying? Like, Khabib... Khabib didn't really have a whole lot of competition with Tony. You know what I mean? Khabib? Yeah. And Tony? Yeah. No, they definitely did. You think? Oh, I yeah, need to rewatch yeah. that fight. They never fought. What? They never fought. They never fought. Really? <laughs> what am I thinking of then? I don't know. Who did Tony just face? Justin Gaethje. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Uh-huh. Justin fucking Jesus thank you god bro. fucked up bro yeah. it's okay I know it's okay to be a little messed up sometimes <laughs> I'm like I'm sorry I just want to party I just I am I am fucking partying <laughs> <laughs> we're uh we're com- I'm coming from a humble perspective here hey I I really want that fight to happen and it's never going even to even now I don't care I, well who, okay who you got next for Tony Ferg I know. I just feel really bad now that I fucked up that. Really, because, like, I, I, that's how underappreciated Justin Gagey is, bro. I just assumed that he was Khabib. <laughs> In that fight? Sure. Yeah, because, like, that was what was next for Tony. You know what I'm saying? I forget what happened. That's what I'm saying. Like, you get caught up in so much of the drama of shit. Oh, I know what happened. It was, it, I, for some reason, I didn't want to think it was COVID, but it was definitely COVID. Because they fought on Fight Island with no... No, did yeah. they fight on Fight Island? It was either... Oh, they were definitely in Vegas. Oh, But Khabib Jesus, couldn't get bro. over here, right? I'm trying... This is why Vegas we need a Jamie. no crowd. I know that. That's why it was COVID. Jeremy needs to be here. I wish Jeremy That's what here. I'm telling you. I figured it out, bro. You did? Yeah. Tell me again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here festering on the fact that I, I want information. It was in Vegas. No crowd. The, was there. That's how I remember it was in Vegas and there was no crowd. That's how I know it was, in, it was COVID. Oh yeah, the Gagey Ferguson fight. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I. Uh, we were. I don't think we were together when we watched that. I'm trying to think of where I watched that fight. I'm trying to think of where I watched that fight. I think I was in Iowa. 
Yes. Or See, I, dude, it's hard for me to remember fights if we're not all together. It's fucking hard. I'll be honest with you. Because it's like it. we fucking talk about it and it creates that fucking story. Yes. When I'm just watching it by myself, I'm just like, all right, cool. Well, I can go back with all of Connor's fights and remember exactly where I was. Just yeah, because if you were with people. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to start doing fuck COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, because it's been hard to fucking keep track of these fights, bro. Because, like, when I'm not with you and we're not fucking like, oh, yeah, I remember we talked about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fucking hard to try to keep track of it by yourself. But I remember every fight we went to at Rhinos. Yeah, every single one. We The fight we just fucking watched. Exactly. Uh the fucking what? is this next one a rhinos fight uh no this the one the fight we just watched was here on saturday though we watched uh fucking we watched whitaker until whitaker until here but what fight did we watch at uh rhinos was, yeah rhinos it was the uh usman usman where it is yeah and then who else fought it was a female fight who did usman fight huh who did usman, usman, fight? usman fight uh no, it wasn't movie. Usman. It was uh, Jorge Masvidal. They fought each other. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. That's Jesus. All I fucking needed. God damn it. Jorge Masvidal. Cuban that was Jesus. Like untangling a Dude, necklace. Dude, we're really fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Hey, this is this is the hey. Whatever. We need to fucking check ourselves. We got too high. No, no, no. No, I'm saying too like, high is like I can't talk right now. Too high. Sure, but it's like somebody listening, not being high with like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, who are these idiots? Yeah, it's like That's Jesus, fine. dude. I'm trying to help you, and I oh, can't. Fine. It's already happened. <laughs> yeah, hey, you figured out yourself. That's how yeah. I'm sorry happened. for the mental struggle that you listeners are trying to His figure questions out. Questions for you. You figure it out. Yeah, whatever. Just laugh. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Hams. Of love. Of hams. Of hams. Oh. So, yeah. Roll I don't know. So, now that we've established that Tony Ferguson and Khabib never fought. No. <laughs> and it tried to happen like five times. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I Literally. <laughs> oh, check myself. <laughs> so. Because that was the big thing. Like, will COVID ruin C- Tony Khabib up get? Like, will that be it? It yep, definitely did. Definitely did. did. So, Pine for sure never fought. Never happened. That was the fifth time. They'll never fight. No, they won't. Because Khabib will be done after he fights. He'll fight Gaethje. Well, Tony got fucking humbled, bro. He's always, he was always a humble dude. Definitely. I think and he I was think, kind of on a rise, though. You know what I'm saying? I think Coming he would have been this. a for real problem for Khabib. Tony? He, yes. Yeah. Because his game is submissions from his back. Elbows from his back yeah. on the ground. He's dynamic as fuck. Yeah, his favorite thing to do is to fucking get taken down and slip in a dars and just sit back with it. And he's fucked up. And he's fucking crazy. And apparently he's gnarly with it everywhere. Oh, he's got that fucking tenth planet jujitsu, bro. Yeah, that Eddie Bravo fucking. He, he would have been a for real problem. Third eye shit, bro. <laughs> Dude, I think fuck this GSP fight. I want to see that Tony Ferg fight with him and Khabib. Yeah. Yeah. GSP doesn't want to do a camp. You don't think so? I think he said he doesn't want to do a camp. Dude. Why you know how much money he would fucking make for that fight? No, I don't. I don't know. And and he doesn't have to wear Reebok. And he can fucking wear whatever the fuck he wants. All he has to have is Venom shit on. Like, all of that Reebok shit is over, bro. I know. That's what's so cool about it. GSP can be back in the game. Wear, un- wear his fucking Under Armour shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. I like that. Yeah. Why not, bro? Go make some money, GSP. You're the fucking man, bro. He's the fucking goat. That's yeah. why fucking Khabib wants to fight you. But stay the goat, you know? I think it's a good challenge. He's still on top, bro. What, weight? 170? No, nah, catch weight, bro. 160. Sure. Khabib puts on 10 pounds. Fucking GSP drops 10. Khabib's 55, huh? Yeah. That's, that's I fucking... Think, I don't know why I always think he's there 70 pounds. And then that opens up more fights at that weight, bro. What about Connor and Nate? I definitely don't want to see him at 85 again. What about Connor sure. and Nate at 160 for the fucking BMF? Or Connor and fucking Masvidal oh, for the BMF? Oh, you're saying open up a whole 160 weight class. Yeah, we're on fucking Fight Island, baby. Dana, make some fucking money. Quit fucking trying to make this a fucking official, you know, sport and shit like that. People want to watch fighting. We appreciate fighting. 
I love fighting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Martial arts are fun, bro. Why not fucking capitalize on all these fucking stories? You know what I'm saying? Not really. What are you saying? I'm saying he's already created the BMF title. Oh, you're saying... <laughs> okay. I'm so saying... Head dive into the entertainment side? Yeah, Dana. And say, like, fuck the Olympic side of it? Like, the sport side of it and shit? Well, I mean, it, there's... there's it's, Right now is the time to take advantage of it because you can't travel. We can't do the Olympic shit. You know what I'm saying? It's very... I think he's trying too hard to stray away from that. You know what I'm saying? No. The stories the stories are natural. They are, they're already created. You know what I'm saying? There's no force like there is in freaking WWE. Because it's real. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not making anything up. No, 100%. Like, these are real people. These are real martial artists. And you're saying embrace that more. A hundred percent, bro. Yeah. It's not drama. It's not fucking fake drama. This is these are real people. What's hard about that is you can't make them win. Right. No, but that's what's so cool about the story of it. That's what's you have to understand that this is fucking life. You know what I mean? Because you could have a star that you're trying to groom. And then he loses twice, and it's fucking over. Yeah, 100%. But the, the, that, the money's already made at that point. You know what Maybe? I'm saying? Maybe. I mean, I mean he, look at Connor, bro. Oh, but yeah, but Connor didn't get, wasn't getting top Dude, fights. Con, there's a lot of split decision with Connor. You know what I'm saying? People either love Connor or they fucking hate Connor, but either way, they're showing up. That's what I'm saying. It's. But he kept winning. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I agree. He, yeah. He, if he lost once. Oh, uh, okay. Here's a perfect example. Paige Van Zandt. Everybody fucking shows up to her. She just fucking got an armbar again, bro. We fucking went. You can't tell me that we didn't go to that fight because subconsciously Paige Van Zandt's on the card. Cool. Another fighter that I want to see. I, we know she's going to lose. But regardless if there's a fucking cover or not. We're going to fucking see the story of maybe... If she was the main event, I probably would not go, for sure not. You don't think so? No. I'd lo- I like seeing her lose, honestly. <laughs> yeah, she would just lose. Sure, but I like seeing the fucking Irina Aldana fucking get it. That's an underdog story, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'm pointing out the fact that Paige Van Zandt is a real person. She has all the fucking opportunity in the world... And there are people that are handed opportunities over and over again in life, and they fucking fail. Do you see what I'm coming from? That's the first time you're saying that. Yeah, I guess I'm putting it in a in a in a different uh, verbiage, but that's what I'm trying to say. Is like Dana Dana can easily play into the fact that you know Jorge Masvidal thinks he's the baddest motherfucker in the world right now because. He has the BMF title. When in reality, dude, there's a couple of guys that could probably stomp your pee-pee. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. And that's what I'm saying, bro. It, and there's there's already... It's already been put into the air. It's already... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> well, I'm saying, I'm saying there's... Like, no, you're just not... I, I don't think you're finishing anything. A thought. You keep You keep starting new thoughts. I'm trying to track and I'm not tracking at all. I'm trying to get you on the same track as me, I guess. Fuck. I'm I'm talking about the you know, the stories that are created off of this whole catch weight thing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not an official weight class. Okay. Back on track. Now that you're saying it, yes. No, dude, we were there before. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. With the whole I wasn't there before. GSP and uh, Khabib fighting at 160. Okay, so now I'm, now I'm tracking. You're talking yeah. about catchweights. Yeah. And how they shouldn't even be catchweights, you just make them new weight classes. But then you started talking about because of their storyline, their character, their character. Here, listen, I'm I'm helping you here. So my my thought process is because catchweight isn't an official weight class. Mm-hmm. 
and it's only attached to the fucking entertainment side of the story. You know what I mean? Of the UFC, the of BMS super title. super fights. Yeah, yeah, making money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only point for this. Mm-hmm. Why not embrace that more right now? Yes. On Fight I'm Island. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm saying the Khabib GSP opportunity gotcha. is definitely where Dana can fucking make a fuck ton of money without having anybody in the stands. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's what I was trying to point out. I wasn't trying to fucking get in the weeds about whether or not we should the UFC should be an Olympic fucking sport or if it should be an entertainment sport. It's both. And that's what's so cool about it. No, I just when I'm an Olympic, I just meant uh, the sports side of it. Sure, yeah, 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 like the competitive, like structured nature. It of It has sport. weight classes. Yeah, it has a scoring system. Hundred percent. Yeah, we're we're on the same page. Yeah, I'm just saying right now because of COVID, nobody's nobody's there in the stands. You know what I mean? And that's what's like. Dana has to think about the perspective of, you know, do I want to watch somebody that I've never heard of? You know, where there's no fans screaming and uh, he's not really celebrating that much because, you know, there's nobody there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, damn, I don't really remember the fight. There's not much impact on it anymore. Yeah, you, you do have I mean? to. I do. I, I'm tracking now. You do it. Yeah. You got you to capitalize you gotta on gotta your make stars. Those fights. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what you got to do. 100%. And that's, and that's where I'm coming from is like, this is a fantastic historical fight and play on the story of it right now. You know what I mean? And not just GSP and Khabib. I'm talking the BMF title. Do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring Connor back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have some fucking fun with your, you know, roster. Because yeah. Sean O'Malley is a fucking a riot in the cage by himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he's a fucking entertainer. Bring Nate Diaz back. But put fucking um There's a bunch of dudes too. That's what I'm saying. Shabazian. Put There's Shabazian exactly. in. That Fucking dude, Kater. superhero, yes, Kata- Kater? Kater? I, Kater. I don't know how to say his last name. K a t t a r. I I love the way he fights. We Just would love to fucking game. have you on, dude. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if you listen to our podcast. Fuck, I'm being an arrogant asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I I really do think that's healthy, bro. You know what I'm saying? For the UFC, it's not it's not cheap because no. it's like. Dude, you gotta fucking you gotta pay the bills, Dana. You know what I mean? And I think that's I think that's the move, bro. Um, so what do you what do you think about the whole um, Khabib Gagey thing? Who wins? Early yeah. Cody? What's your prediction? What do I got? It'll be fun for sure to watch. I think because I mean you have more of a wrestling experience and. I have more of a jujitsu experience and that's what's so cool about our perspective is we both have that combatives experience in the military, but you come from a different background than I come from, but you've done it for a fuck ton longer than I have. I think could be takes Gaethje down. You do? He does everybody else. Yeah. The difference is, is Gaethje might be able to get up, right? Why though? Why might he be able to get up? Why Why is he? Why does he have the upper hand on Habib in his discipline? It's just what's been shown, right? Sure. With yeah. Khabib, it is a different. It's it's a different level of wrestling. Well, I mean, I think both of us understand that Habib has, I think, a little bit more of a. Um, and it's it's weird to fucking draw that back from Rocky, but he has more of that like Russian fucking um, black and white routined fucking ingrained. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. and and Gagey, I think has more of like a Donald Cerrone mentality, where he's willing to fucking get in the weeds, and it doesn't matter if he knows or not, he's gonna fucking make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. And that's and that's just my own fucking assumptions. Obviously, I fucking I don't know shit. <laughs> like I don't fucking know these people by any means. I'm just basing it off what I fucking uh, can assume. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I don't I don't know for a fact that that's you know re- a reality. But when I'm fucking putting my money on somebody, I like to fucking create a story in my head. I guess. Uh, yeah, create whatever you want. <laughs> I guess. 
<laughs> but uh, I think Khabib's got a higher level of wrestling for sure. I agree. But yeah. do you hear what I'm saying? Like, thinking about his background, like his dad and like the story that they make, you know yeah. what I mean? You can easily draw that conclusion that he's always had a firm hand regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like his, he lived with his dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gagey fucking, he's a grown ass man. You know what I mean? Living his own life. He's definitely disciplined, but he's, I think a little bit more free spirited. You the know what I'm saying? Different. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Our culture is a hundred percent different and he comes from a different mentality, a different, um, Walk of life, man. Hundred percent. He's the fucking. I think. That being said, I think Gage beats him up. You think so? Yes. I'm going American all the way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's the difference is Gage. He's going to be able to stand up. He's got the heart. He's going to figure out the takedowns. And Dude, God, fucking Khabib uh, gets hit. Khabib gets hit. Khabib lost his dad, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking from like a fucking motivation perspective, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that that motherfucker. But if he didn't want, he wouldn't pick. He wouldn't. He wouldn't sign a fight if he wasn't ready to fight. If oh, 100 percent. I know that. I'm just saying, <laughs> dude. Again, you're very much like from a analytical fucking martial arts perspective. Yeah. I'm from a like look at the human being. What the fuck is going on with them? Perspective. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Right. But even him being a human, if he if he wasn't ready to. Oh, absolutely. Fight. I'm saying that's fucking that that's a reason to fucking bet on Habib. You know what I mean? His sure, yeah. dad that fucking he's motivated as fuck. And that's what I'm saying. He wants that GSP fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Do, was, do, his dad always said he do wants you bet to on fight Gage GSP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. That's what I I'm think saying. Gage figures him out. I think he already has him figured out. Yeah. And and I think Gagey has the understanding taken down by him. oh yeah 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 he's willing to go like i said bro he's willing to go in the weeds bro that's that's the difference i fucking love i love gagey i think the longer it goes and i, and I goes hope he in gagey's favor didn't he fucking whip doesn't didn't he fucking fight donald cerrone and whip his ass who's that gagey or was it the opposite yeah, sometime i'm sure they fought i don't remember the last time um let's look it up real quick because i don't want to sound like an idiot um Gagey um, versus Cerrone. Yeah, Gagey won that fight by knockout in the first round. What year was that? Uh, <clears throat> last year, September 2019. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. And I hope, I hope, like he doesn't fucking. God damn it, Justin Gagey is so fucking underappreciated, bro. He he whooped fucking Donald Cerrone's ass in the first round, bro. Yeah, Donald Trump has been getting beat up. Lately. Oh, absolutely, and I'm not. I, I'm just saying that I'm respecting the fact that that is a legend right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I hope he fucking takes that as a compliment of me comparing him to Donald Cerrone. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I think he's way above Donald. He knew Donald Cerrone was never champ. Sure. And I'm gaining. That's what I'm saying. I'm being fucking humbled right now, respecting the fuck out of Justin Gagey, man. Oh, dude, yeah. He needs to be respected. Like, dude, that fucking Ferguson he, fight was insane. Yes, I'm going to watch that again. Oh. We're going to watch that after this. That's a fight that's easily watched once a year. Yeah. It's like, it's comparable to the Rory McDonald uh, fucking Robbie Lawler fight. Yeah, for sure. Colby Covington and... Uh, Usman? Yeah, that's dude, that fight. was a fucking awesome fight. Anyways, sorry. But yes, um... Dude, I fucking love Justin Gagey, and I'm I'm glad that you're you're talking about it because, or that we're talking about the fact that he's underappreciated. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Because it, it's a hard fight. For it's gonna me. inspire more people to fucking bet on him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean that's that's kind of where a lot of people's heads go when they watch fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah, Trying to some people. sure, and and some people. Uh, just uh jeremy and i fucking love betting on the fights man it's fun to yeah. you know have a little bit of skin in the game you know uh, but i never will oh really that's what i'm saying yeah no why don't you like betting on the fights i don't like gambling at all oh really yeah i like my money i like eating yeah touche yeah i guess that makes sense <laughs> I, i've literally never fucking won in a significant amount of money so it's like dude yeah. that would crush me oh yeah yeah i'd it's be like, so fucking pissed oh, yeah. i wouldn't sleep Oh, yeah. Hey, man, I just learned a lesson. (laughs) (laughs) 
We love fighting too much. I don't have to fucking bet on it. Mm-hmm. Too smart to fucking bet on fighting. We, we can just fucking be impactful on talking about the fights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we can promote the fuck out of these dudes. We'll make money doing that. Fuck it. I'm not going to keep betting on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're never going to get sponsored by a fucking my book here. makes a of money all the time. Yeah, touche. He does. We're just not gamblers now. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just taught myself a lesson. I'm like, fuck, why am I wasting my money? Hey, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it is. Whatever, it's funny. But yeah, anyways, Justin Gagey, I hope he fucking wins, man. Because I'm excited, dude. I, though I mean, the whole... They're gonna have. They're for sure, there would be countdowns. Huh? There'll be, you know. Oh UFC yeah, the countdowns. UFC embeddeds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for the to see the whole build of the story, because I definitely know that they're already recording. Could be right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's already a cameras around him. There's already cameras around Justin talking right now as we speak. Probably you know I mean? right. Fucking, right this second. Right now. Yep. Anyways, Whoa. and we could fucking. We could fucking reach out to Justin because he lives out here in Colorado. Uh-huh. And because we know Brandon Gertz, he's homies with Justin. We got a sweet table. Yeah, we do. And they like, I mean, Brandon fucking smokes. <laughs> Open, like he's sponsored by a fucking CBD company. J- Justin, I know, is sponsored by CBD. Mm-hmm. So if they want to fucking come try some New View stuff, they're more than welcome. You know what I mean? Yes. So I think that would be cool, man. Um, and for me personally, man, I like, I really feel like when I have like a personal attachment to, you know, a fighter, it's way more fun, man. Really. Cause then you like, I don't know, you fucking have more of an understanding on why you're fucking rooting for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like, I like seeing fucking, uh, uh, the antidote, Eric Grant. Yeah. I like, he's on LFA. He's now signed on LFA. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so cool, man. Cause like he's an OG, like, person that we've interviewed yeah and brandon gertz if if he gets a fight with bellator or not if when he fights again with bellator like i'm saying if like fucking covid's gonna end all of sports other than ufc <laughs> <laughs> which is not the case bellator will be back but um yeah i just saying like we have a huge network and i don't know i think You're it's a uh, bare knuckle yeah, dude. Fucking Caleb, Caleb Harris, and uh, Justin or Jason Knight. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, that guy is fucking scary. Dude, I love those. Jason dudes. the Kid Knight. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. I can't wait for Bare Knuckle to come back. What does that sound? No idea. That's very strange. Check. It sounds like the AC I turned off. It feels like the AC I turned off. I turned the AC back on somehow. Yeah. Well. Just pause. Yeah, I guess just pause and No, it's all good. Just run. Just Joe Rogan fucking stands up in the middle of his podcast and goes and grabs shit. <laughs> I hate to fucking continually compare us to the greatest podcast on all podcasts, but I have to, right? Go run and grab. Go turn that shit off. Um. Huh. Um, it's not even on oh there it is boom baby alright back to the fucking show sorry hey that was a nice little fucking refresh though you know what I'm saying no huh my brain what, what's wrong with your brain nobody knows why that turned on in the first place oh really no I just, I switched it off and then it switched it back to where it was and it turned off oh it was a ghost definitely well yeah remember how many fucking times we would hear crazy footsteps above us and we live on the top floor holy fucking shit yeah now well, that you're I, saying it i came back two months two months in iowa i came back and i had never heard it haven't heard it since wow that's weird yeah jeremy doesn't remember the last time he heard it fucking strange yeah maybe it was birds we need ouija let's film let's film a ouija right here I just almost fucking table. got sick. Don't get sick, dude. Oh, thinking about demons and shit? You, well, you don't have to talk to demons. Uh, who are we going to talk to? I feel like a Ouija angels. is almost... Oh, we're going to reach out to the Angel of Elvis? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Viva! We went, the, we went to the same 
Uh, went to the same song. What's another? What's your second uh, go-to Elvis song? I ain't nothing but hell Thank you. No. Fuck yeah. Crying all the time. You ain't, ain't nothing but a hound dog. No. Uh-huh. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. There it is. There it is. Well, you said you... Dude, that's the first fucking song my grandma ever fucking taught me how to sing as a kid. Really? Yeah. I was fucking like two years old when I was singing Elvis. Fuck yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I wish I, I, wish I could fucking pull up old videos of that shit, because that's time, cool. That is cool. I like that. Yeah. Every, I've been singing since I was a little baby, bro. Every my time, grandma. My fucking... Every time uh, he would come on the radio, Elvis, yeah. right? I wouldn't even know. Uh, my dad would be like, hey, who is this? And I'd know if he asked me that. Do, <laughs> the king. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even if I didn't know, I just knew if the question came to me, yeah. it was the, the answer was sure. the king. I didn't know who the, Your dad just asked you so that you had that auditory cue of like, listen, who's, li- who's, yeah. th- who's talking? Hey, who on? is this? The king. Yep. The king. Fucking he would Elvis. only ask you when Elvis was playing. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Yeah. But or yeah. Bruce, the boss, when I got older, it had to be fucking, you know. Yeah. You can Spring tell the difference. Thing. The boss. The boss. I, that's crazy that that's his nickname. The boss. The boss. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of, I, there's a reason. I've, really? Yeah, because he never had a. It was always Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Right? Ah. They weren't. It was so the band would always kind of change. He was he was like a boss to the. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So his he's king would call shit. Him the boss. Yeah, he yeah, he is boss. king shit of the E Street Band. Right. Yeah, the boss. What's up, boss? That's so cool, bro. That's probably where that phrase comes from. Possibly. How's it going, boss? You know no, what I mean? that that's a prison thing. Oh, you think? No, I know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know? Cops, yeah. <laughs> well, prison guards will tell you that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's a if people if you ever got someone coming at you saying boss a lot, there's a good chance they spend time in prison. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, think of the Green Mile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. And uh, Shawshank, Shawshank yeah. Redemption. Oh shit, bro! Because they call the guards that. Hey, boss. yeah. Hey, boss. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just learned a lesson. Um, lots of learning lessons today. That's fucking never awesome. a bad thing. No, and that's cool. I should, I should fucking crave that. It's good shit because I know stuff too. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Anyways, moving on. We we have we have tabs. Good tabs. Uh, you want to try to say his name? No. Oh, Kazmat Shimov. And you laugh because I might be right. Well, so what's the headline of that? <laughs> I, I just think he's they're interesting. Trying, well, bro. they're trying to get him another fight. Quick. Who did he just fight and beat? I don't know the names. Uh, Darcy Choke. Vic, he, he won in a freaking rear naked choke a week ago. He took it on 11, day, 11 days after his fight. Yeah. Like a week and then three days yeah. three days ago he fought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, on it was the Island. quickest turnaround in UFC history. Oh, really? Yeah, so I guess they're trying to get him another one like that. Yeah, I don't know who you fought. Um, here, we're pulling it up right now. You can hear this, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if our listeners can hear this. but Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Shemaev. Kazmat. I said his first name right. Kazanat. Kazmat. Kazmanat. The Russian cosmonauts. I don't, I don't know, know, brother. brother. If somebody's injured, just tell me. I'm going to smash everybody. Well, it's just that file of starting. File He's of playing... starting? Style of fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's low energy. Super low energy. Yeah. It's, cons- you're, it's you're conserving your fucking energy and using your body as a fucking tool. Mm-hmm. 100%. And he understands that. That's why he's comparing himself to Khabib and using the same phrases as him. Because it's the same fucking fight style. Is he doing that on purpose, or is that just oh. how they both were? Just the region. You think? Yeah, for sure. Smash. <laughs> yeah, that's just how they say the word. That's how they pronounce their A's. I know, right? but the phrase "smash," though, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, is yeah, that a fucking, it could be a wrestling. You know, I mean, it, I it is what he's doing. It's similar enough to where we can fucking point if it out. If he starts saying "number one bullshit," yeah, I, uh, you know, I, yeah, I'm exactly. Bored. That's what I'm saying. He's. This I think he's one. kind of playing on the fact that maybe. Other fans are like, "Oh, a new Khabib," you know what I mean? Because that's what people Could are pointing be out. A new anyone else? What if there was a Connor like that? 
I think fucking the Strannable, what the fuck his name is, tried really hard. The fucking Sam's Club, Connor. (laughs) (laughs) You have to win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, But he's way smaller than Connor. He's like 30s. Oh, he's like fucking 115s, bro. Maybe 125. Like, he's like a little Henry Cejudo dude. There's no dude 115. I know. I'm just being an asshole. But he's legit. Like, he's a little fucking leprechaun. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but he no, is a small No, they were trying to get rid of that dude. division anyways. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, it's not that entertaining to watch. Really? Like, I, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm all for, for sport, but when you're, like, it's like flicking and fucking... <laughs> they're like little fucking kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was a, I was a freshman and 135 pounds. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I'm not, I'm not trying to come from a fucking egotistical standpoint. That's why they were trying to get rid of it. You know what I mean? They almost did. Yeah. And then I'm not trying to... Like I said, man, I feel I feel like I'm being an asshole, but... It's a... Uh, there's a reason. Look, at that dude. that dude's fully capable of fucking putting on another 20 pounds. Go work out more. Yeah, but he's like 5'4". <laughs> sure, but I'm saying, like, that would be more entertaining to watch as a fight. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why they would get rid of that <clears throat> weight class. I'm, I'm looking from a business standpoint. Like, I'm yeah, all, they don't. They weren't making money. Yeah, that's what. I, that's why I'm trying to say that. I think they're probably still looking for a way to get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, there's not. They're trying to really. I think Triple C is the, like, because he was an Olympic athlete, and because he can play on the competition of it. Yeah, he had to make up that persona. Yeah, and it, and it, and it to works. Save the division. How? 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 For how long? Cause exactly. You know, what what other fucking persona, what other character can you create in that division? You know what I mean? Yeah, who's the guy? Yeah. DJ. The champ the champ now is he's a, he's quite he's probably got a character to him. I forget his name, but he's from I wanna say probably Africa. I just saw him riding water buffaloes in my head. Oh really? Yeah, there's a video of him riding water buffaloes from somewhere. And maybe we're not gonna cool it. as shit too. Hey and maybe hey And he stomped Joseph Benavides. Yeah. Stomped him. I'm gonna fucking back up. <laughs> really, because like, I, I I don't I don't think that that division is dead yet. I really don't. I think Cejudo is really fucking trying to build that, and he, there's a massive opportunity there, bro. You know what I mean? For them to make money again in that division. Mm-hmm. So I, don't, I I I retract my statement. I don't think that you know there's no money in it, and I fucking I enjoy watching their fights because I do enjoy the fucking competition of it it's not it, it's not just all about the fucking entertainment side of it you know what i mean uh-huh. so fuck what i said i'm an idiot <laughs> 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 anyways uh, what is what is his actual name the strannable strannable i don't know how to say his name uh oh fuck mm Kurt, I'm just gonna type in uh, "wannabe." Oh, this is so bad. Wannabe Connor. Oh, the f- Sam's Club Connor. Is that what you call them? I didn't even know there was one. Dude, I fucking hate that. That's what. He, that's why he's James Gallagher. Yep, James Gallagher. Dude, he's that's that's who that's who we were uh, trying to find. The another comparison for. Connor with the whole Khabib thing. Makes me want to watch Shameless. James Gallagher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, but that's his name, the Stran- Stranimal. I don't know how to fucking say his fight name. But anyway, sorry, getting in the weeds again. I really like that. Uh, Cosmat dude though, and and who does who does uh who has the belt right now in the welterweight division? Oh, I don't know. That'd be one to look at. Um, I mean, I definitely know. I know who it is. Welterweight champion UFC. Oh, Usman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So Usman, who's fucking welterweight division? Who's next for that dude, man? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. 
Welterweight UFC rankings. There we go. Ooh. You're throwing him a top 10 guy right now? I'm looking top top 20. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. there's still some good names in the top 20, top 15. Yeah. I think I think him and Robbie Lawler would be a good fight. Yeah, if Lawler is taking fights. Huh. Uh, I haven't seen him fight in a long time. Oh, fucking him and Donald Cerrone. I mean, if Dana's trying to freaking build this dude up, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he's kind of a he's kind of a gatekeeper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and he, and he's still active. You know, if Donald Cerrone doesn't want to fucking take the challenge, then you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of fucking bow out, dude. I think he did just take a fight. I don't know with who though. Oh, I'm not trying to say that Donald Cerrone's done by any means, dude. No. I'm, he's on three losing. He's on a three fight losing streak. I know. He just lost to Anthony Pettis, I think. No, no, Anthony Pettis is in Bellator. No. Anthony Pettis is in the UFC. He was in the Bellator. He was in Bellator. Anthony Pettis? I don't think he's in the UFC anymore. It says right here. Decision. His last fight. With with, uh, Cowboy? Yeah, Cowboy and Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis just beat. Can I not think of that? That was one that I watched by myself, too. Oh. Yeah, bro. We fucking... That, see what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to fucking remember these fights if we don't watch them together. Yeah. Because you, you remember certain shit, that, and, and I remember certain shit, and it's like, oh, fuck, I I'm feel stupid. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck I wanted to say he, had, he just had a Bellator debut. Anthony Pettis? Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? No, I have no idea. I can't oh. find anything. Yeah, because it. I'm looking at the fucking MMA world rankings right now, and it shows Donald Cerrone is on a three fight losing streak. Most recently, um, Anthony Pettis, Conor McGregor, and then Justin Gagey. I might be thinking of his brother Sergio. Because Conor's comeback was Don Cerrone. Remember? His what? Conor's comeback. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Cerrone. That's why I'm like, man, I don't really care to see Cerrone fight again. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Cerrone has. Only so many chances, and I think that's the fight for him. Because Cosma Shimov is, or Shimeyev, I don't know. Jesus, I heard it before. I'm gonna work on it. Um, Kazma Shimeyev, he's uh, 20th right now in the MMA world rankings, yeah. and Donald Cerrone is 18th. So I, f- I feel like, from a money standpoint and from a story standpoint, right, that's the fight, bro. You know what I mean? Yes. And then I think if he beats Don Cerrone, then he, he kind of tweaks Robbie Lawler's interest. Yeah, that's a fun fight. Yeah, bro. I mean, if he wants to get in the weeds. I always like watching Robbie fight. I love fight, Robbie dude. Lawler. He's a fucking legend, bro. Yeah, he really is. He's on another fight, a uh, three-fight losing streak. He lost to fucking Colby Covington and then lost to Ben Askren and then lost to fucking Rafael Dos Anjos mm-hmm. just to, uh, to decision. Fucking, and then Askren in from that fucking bull choke or that, what was it? Bulldog choke? Bulldog choke, yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, so yeah. Connor's That's still, nice Connor's nice still change, fucking yeah. number seven. <laughs> After in, his official retirement? Well, they still have him on here as seventh. Yeah. Nate Diaz is eighth. The top ten is fucking stacked, bro. Yeah. You know who else is underappreciated? Fucking Michael Chiesa. He hasn't fought in a long time. He hasn't. Is that music just now coming back? It's getting louder, I feel. Yeah. Fucking digging it. It's kind of nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's all good. We're at an hour. Cool, man. Yeah, it's all good. We still got a couple more things to talk about. But... um. We wanted to fucking just mention the fucking uh, uh, Ferguson comeback. Who's next for it's Tony a, Ferguson? Who's he fight? Who's he, I think he fights Connor. Bro, that might be it. Speaking on like what we were talking That's about, man. Fight. You know what I mean? Like the the whole um, capitalizing on the fact that nobody's in the stands right now, and you need to put people that are going to want people to spend the money on the pay-per-view. You know what I mean? You think Connor would fight without fans? Oh, 100%, bro. Yeah. He'd get out of the fucking thing and walk. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's 
That's Connor, bro. He's going to do whatever it takes to fucking make the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, Dana's... I, I, was, I was just thinking maybe... They, that's that's what's so cool what's about... What's the point? What's the point? Well, Connor... It's for the fans, you know? Sure. But... Uh, Connor's... But then again, too, Connor's not worried about money. No. Yeah. It's all entertainment. Touche. Why would they bring Connor back? Yeah. Who... Who's the who's the fucking fight for Ferguson? I'd still like to see the Connor. But fans are gonna come back. Sure, but I'm saying like is is Ferguson looking to come back soon? You know what I mean? Probably ASAP. Sure, that's what I'm saying. It's like Connor's not ready. Meh. Yeah. Then you know, they sign the fight, they get ready, you've not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I, I want to put give our uh, give our uh, little opinion on who should who should be the one to take on Ferguson again. Maybe Dustin Poirier. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't really get me. Yeah. Too crazy excited. I mean, they they fought before a long time ago, didn't they? Maybe. Like or- Ferguson beat. Poirier when Poirier was like on a massive losing streak. I'm pretty awesome. sure I might be wrong, but either way, fact check me, baby. Um. Anyways, I don't know, man. I think maybe is Felder done? Give him a hooker. Dan Hooker? Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. He's a new young gun, bro. I'm down with giving him a hooker. Yeah, because he's Cause what is he? Fifteen, 15 fights or something. Who the fuck Poirier just fought last? And I was like, oh yeah. Dan <laughs> yeah, Hooker. Dan Hooker. Yeah. He just beat Dan Hooker. It was a hell of a fight. Yeah, fuck yeah, it was. Yeah, I got respect for Dan Hooker, bro. That mm-hmm. was a that was a brawl, man. That's another fucking big fight for this year. That might be it. The fight of the year? Well, fight. Yeah, sure. I'm talking about that. Might be the fight for Tony Ferguson. Sure. They're both coming off losses. Why not? Dan Hooker. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Hooker's up there. Four and five. That's the money fight, bro. And and Felder doesn't really want to fight, bro. He's made it clear like he's got a baby oh, at Felder's home. Felder's done, yeah. Paul Felder's retired. And who else? Ally Quintus kind of been a no show lately, bro. Right. Yeah, he's been yeah. silent. He's on a two fight losing streak. He was always kind of a gatekeeper, dude. Anyways. But I feel like Kevin Lee's been kind of silent too lately. He's just moved weight classes, huh? Yeah. And he's coming. He's he's well, he just lo- lost. Yeah. Like in a kind of a bad way. And but, and and we sleep on these Brazilians, bro. We've been sleeping on these Brazilians. We got two fucking Brazilians in the top ten: Diego Ferreira and Charles Oliveira. Oliveira. Yeah. And then you know, obviously Habib is the champ, and then we got Dan Hooker, the Australian. Everyone else is American in the top ten. New Zealand. I'm sorry. Yeah, New Zealand. Thank you. I, I saw the f- stars and the British flag and just assumed that it's Australia, but it's a different flag. You're right. New Zealand. New Zealand, my He's a Kiwi. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, cool. I'm glad we fucking talked about uh, all of these uh, Fight Island and um, potential matchups, bro, because there's a lot of fucking UFC, you know, gassed up. Yes. <laughs> I love it. And that's what's so cool about no fans right now, because that's all that, that all that it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's even more important, you know what I mean, going into the fight. Or it's just about fight. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's it, there is no show about it, and that's maybe why Connor's not going to show up. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. Connor plays on the fans. <clears throat> no, there's no way in. No one in the way in. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's nobody to feed his ego. Right. Yeah. It's face-to-face at that point. Yeah, and that's kind of defeats a lot of it. Sure. What's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah. Like, why are, we, why are we making it a fucking... We're both getting paid. You know what I mean? And, then, and that's when it comes down to just yeah, like you said, it's just about fights. Mm-hmm. It's just about breaking down the fucking martial artist, and that's what that's where where we come in, and that's where it's important. And we're teaching ourselves more me than anything else when it comes to fucking 
trying to understand <laughs> disciplines and shit, man. Because that's something that I don't really fucking think about when going into a fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I've been more trying to break that shit down. And that's what's cool about right now. You know, I feel like more people are trying to understand the science of this sport. Yeah. And that's why I fucking eat it up, man. And on that note, fucking thank you for listening to fucking episode... 26 of the heirs of the dog mm. we got to get out of here we got a fucking time slot to stay under so um thank you again to new view pharma and rm extracts and uh catch us live every monday wednesday and friday um i think starting august um I was, the schedules and stuff are changing on rtf sports but um yeah we're gonna be from now on monday wednesday and friday at 3 p.m eastern time and that is uh 1 p.m eastern or mountain standard time if you're in colorado so yeah we gotta sign off thank you again to uh i hope i hope hams gives us a call Fuck. it's a cheap yeah, it's a cheap do. beer that needs needs more appreciation give us a call hams we'll drink your beer for free Fuck it. anyways mm-hmm. thank you uh, here's the dog out. Later. Calculator. Mm.